वेलकम यू ऑल टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ मुल्तान पब्लिक स्कूल एंड कॉलेज आई एम योर कंप्यूटर टीचर मिस सना रियासत टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर फोर फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स राइट बाइट वन चैप्टर नेम इज प्रोसेसिंग एंड स्टोरेज फॉलोइंग कंटेंट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस चैप्टर नंबर वन प्रोसेसिंग नंबर टू सी पी यू एंड माइक्रो प्रोसेसर नंबर थ्री मेन मेमोरी एंड प्राइमरी स्टोरेज नंबर फोर बस नंबर फाइव एक्सपेंशन कार्ड एंड एक्सपेंशन स्लॉट नंबर सिक्स बैकअप स्टोरेज और सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज वट इज प्रोसेसिंग द कन्वर्जन ऑफ डेटा इन टू इंफॉर्मेशन बाय अ कंप्यूटर इज कॉल्ड प्रोसेसिंग When a data is not processed, it is called raw data, and after processing, it is called information. So we can see the difference between unprocessed data and processed data. That is raw data or information. Data travels in the computer along circuits. The circuit board is a flat surface on which circuits are laid out. The motherboard. What is motherboard? A motherboard is the most important circuit board. It carries the most important parts of the computer, such as the CPU. Motherboard. क्या चीज़ है? Motherboard एक ऐसी important आप कह लो के part है जिसके बगैर computer useless हो जाता है बिल्कुल. Motherboard is one of them. ठीक है? Next is microprocessors and motherboard. अब माइक्रो प्रोसेसर क्या चीज़ है इट इज़ अ सिलिकॉन चिप दैट कंटेन द सीपीयू जो कि सीपीयू के अंदर मौजूद होती है ठीक है आप देख रहे हो कि दिस इज़ अ मदरबोर्ड एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इन दिस मदरबोर्ड प्लस देर आर मैनी पोर्ट्स एज वेल वेयर ऑल द पैरिफिर डिवाइस आर कनेक्टेड दीज पोर्ट्स आर यूज टू कनेक्ट द अदर डिवाइस लाइक पैरिफिर डिवाइस लाइक यू कैन से स्पीकर वॉय और डिवायर फॉर कीबोर्ड द माउस माउस वायर ऑल दीज वायर्स आर अटैच एट दिस पोर्ट दैट इज प्रेजेंट एट द बिहाइंड ऑफ द सी पी यू सो नेक्स्ट इज वट इज सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट इज द पार्ट ऑफ सी पी सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर it is it consists of three important units that is memory unit control unit and arithmetic logical unit all the mathematical calculations in the computer are performed with the help of arithmetic logical unit it is responsible for performing calculations making comparisons and processing data into information next is the cpu cpu controls the cpu uh, controls all the operations of all different parts of computer it regulates the step by step operations of all parts of computer its main job is to carry out or execute the instructions like jaise ki hamara brain hamare tamam ऑर्गन्स को तमाम बॉडी पार्ट्स को कंट्रोल कर रहा है सेम लाइक दैट दिस कंट्रोल यूनिट इज कंट्रोलिंग ऑल द फंक्शंस ऑफ आर कंप्यूटर नेक्स्ट इज मेमोरी यूनिट मेमोरी यूनिट स्टोर्स डेटा एंड इंस्ट्रक्शंस इट्स फंक्शन इज सेम लाइक एज आर ब्रेन इज स्टोरिंग मेमोरीज सेम लाइक दैट मेमरी यूनिट इज स्टोरिंग द मेमरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर ना देर आर टू मेन टाइप्स ऑफ मेमरी As you can see, the components of CPU. At one side, there is a human brain carrying information, carrying signals through the help of neurons, and on the other side, there is a computer's memory, that is hard disk, your chip, silicon chip, and these are the types of memory. Next is memory unit. What is memory unit? This unit is responsible for providing the space for storing data. 
the area where a computer stores something temporarily or permanently is called memory. As our brain is also storing some, some moments for temporary reason, some for permanent reason. So same like that, computer memory storing two types of moments. Next is the hardware that allows you to store or retrieve information. To retrieve something is to call, recall something, is to get something. Okay? Next is there are two, as I told you, there are two main types of memory. Main memory or its second name is primary storage. And the second memory is backup storage memory, which is also called secondary storage memory. So here we are going to see the difference. Primary storage is directly accessible to the CPU. It offers a very fast access rate. It is high volatile in nature. High volatile, volatile means that when you off the switch, ya per aap iska connection jaise hi band karte ho computer ka, to usme jo bhi memory hai, wo sab kuch flash out ho jati hai. Same like that, jab aap secondary storage mein koi chiz store karte ho, or meanwhile aapka computer off ho jata hai, then that thing is saved. Theek hai? You will not lose that. So, main memory is, is, a high volatile in nature it is an expensive memory now coming towards the secondary storage the data in the secondary storage is accessed by the computer through intermediary devices like the processor cache and what is cache cache is a type of storage device ticket device or you can say a cache is a type of storage portion where you feed the uh, where you feed the information next is it offers low access rate. So, it's low because it has to be functions perform ke ja rahe like saving, loading, buffering, all these functions that are assessing in backup storage. That's why it's a bit slower than main memory. It is non volatile in nature. As I told you, that whenever you switch off the uh, uh, electricity, it will remain safe. All the things remain safe in your backup storage if you allow them to save next is it is an expensive mem it is an not an expensive memory now next slide differentiate difference between ram and rom what is ram and rom these two are the parts of main memory ram store information temporary information on ram can be accessed very quickly and it can be added, changed, deleted, or any number of times. RAM is volatile. As I told you, it's the part of primary. So primary is volatile. Same like that, RAM is volatile. As soon as the power of the system is lost, information in the RAM is deleted. For example, you will write a story on a computer. It would hold your work in the RAM until you were ready to print out your story. It is important to save your work for time to time. Coming toward ROM. ROM is a permanent or non-volatile memory. Information stored on ROM cannot be changed. This information helps the computer to work properly. It tells the computer how to start up, upload the operating system and shutting down. All these processes are known as startup process. It, its writing data is slower. Next is bus. What is bus? A bus is a circuit that links the CPU with peripheral devices. As it told you about peripheral devices are those devices which is connected externally from the CPU. So, bus is a circuit that links the CPU with peripheral devices. There are three main types of bases, uh, buses. The address bus carries information about the location on RAM or ROM where data is to be stored. Like address bus kya karta hai? Aapka data jab jaise hi computer mein aega, the address bus will help that data to show the right position like either that data has to be saved in RAM or ROM. Next is 
data bus. The data bus carries raw data to the processor and processed information from the processor. Third is the control bus. As same like our brain is controlling the functions in the same condition that control bus carries command from the CPU to the different devices and inform the CPU about those devices. In other words, it is controlling all the functions. Next, we have expansion card and expansion slot. An expansion card is a circuit board that can be attached to the motherboard. It improves the performance of the computer. A motherboard has sockets called expansion slot. An expansion slot can fit into an expansion slot. Expansion there as you can see in the picture there is an expansion slot and the card is going to be fit in these slots All right, so It is just improving the performance of computer as many as cards you put in the slot It will be good going to work more improvement performance Next is hard disk and hard drive Hard disk is a permanent storage medium installed inside a computer. It is called an internal hard disk. If consist, it consists of one or more flat disk coated with magnetic substances. As you can see, there is a spindle, platter, head, ticket. Remaining links are not important, but the main thing is it is consist. It consists of magnetic tape on a spindle as the spindle moves it will read the disk data so this is the internal internal hard disk or internal hard disk drive it consists of a spindle on which the hard disk rotates a read and write had writes and reads data on this the amount of information that can be saved on the hard disk drive depends on its size Sometimes the hard disk can be removed from the computer and carried around. They can also be stored more data than an internal hard disk. Hard disk packs are example of portable hard disk. Portable means there, as you can see to the left side picture, they are having two hard disks. One is internal and the other is external. Internal one is safe as it is safe from outside hazards. Whereas the external hard disk drive is not safe from the outside hazards. So it is better to use internal hard drive than external one. Next and topic is optical storage devices. Other than memory, there is a storage devices. They will be used to save our data and can easily be portable. Optical storage devices use laser to save and load data on the optical storage media. Now, as you have already seen, there are three disks. One is compact disk that is normally used in every view. Next is DVD disk. As you can see the capacity 4.7 G GB and Whereas in the compact disc, there is 700 MBs. And the third one is Blu-ray disc that contain the capacity of 25 GB. So there are versions of CD, multiple versions of CD. As the time passes, it's going to improve as the technology is improving day by day. So here are number of important Optical storage devices that is compact disc, that is CD ROM, CD recordable, CD rewritable, digital video, DVD recordable, DVD rewritable, and photo CD. The compact disc is a thin, flat disc protected by transparent cover. The CD ROM drive is inside the system unit. CD are portable and secure. Now, CD ROM. Data is stored on CD-ROM 
and cannot be changed. It can store up to 650 MBs of data. CDR. CDR is recordable C. CDR is a blank disk on which data can be stored only once but read many times. It is also called WOM. Once write, read many. CD Readable. CD Readable allows users to record and change data in any number of times. As you can judge from the word, that is Readable. It cannot be used with ordinary compact disk drivers. A device called CD recorder is needed. Next is digital or style disk, that is DVD ROM. It stores more and better quality text, audio, and video than CD ROM. You can say that CD is the least uh, version, whereas the DVD is the highest version. They can store movies, allows user to jump from a scene into the middle of the disc. Next is the SD. You can see SD card, memory card, cloud-based storage, and pen drive or USB drive. These are also a type of storage. What memory card do? The SD memory card stores data in gigabytes or there are multiple number of data types like it is small light and portable portable means you can carry it easily wherever you want sd card memory card are called solid state storage storage device as you can pick it in hand easily so you can feel it they do not have any moving parts they are mostly using portable devices such as laptop mobile phones digital cameras, tablets, and computers. Next is the USB memory disk or pen drive. A USB or a pen drive is a very small and light. It is inserted into the USB port and is used as backup storage. Cloud-based internal storage. Cloud-based internal storage is an advanced type of storage. Some websites offer free or low-cost storage on an internet hard drive. Users can store, edit, and view information from any computer connected to the internet. Some examples of cloud storage devices are SkyDrive, Microsoft, or Google Drive from the Google. That's it. Now your chapter is completed. Kindly complete your exercise, write the subjective portion on your notebooks, whereas the objective portion, fill it on your textbook. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.